Buddy, Dion here with the Turquoise Iris. I am working on this canvas, and lo and behold, I'm working with my fingers because I have developed this love for painting with my fingers, finger painting. And I have developed this knack for painting flowers with my fingers. So you can tell right here, that's what I've used on this canvas, and I thought I'm just about finished, and I thought you might want to um, join me and see me add the finishing touches to this piece. Hello, hi, I apologize if my light's a little bright. That's my friend Michelle right there. So good to see you, darling. What do you think, Michelle? Um, I'm almost finished, but I wanted to add some finishing touches, and honest to goodness, hi, Lori. I meant to turn this camera on a long time ago. So thumbs up encourage love thanks listen oh my goodness so let me bring it in a little bit closer and what i'm adding right now there's my friend cindy um what i'm adding right now are like some more petals with these okay so i'm allowed to use diy paint it's a clay based all natural so i don't have to worry about like the acrylics or the oils um, becoming, you know, bad for me or such. So I don't use gloves. Um, I use DIY paint. It's from Debbie's Design Diary. Um, you can, guys, we have like 250 retailers all over the U.S. and Canada. Oh my goodness! Jennifer, you just made my day right now. Thumbs up to you. I'm giving you a thumbs back. back. Um, I appreciate you so much and you said I brought the love of paint. Listen, I don't make things complicated. Something you should know about me. I keep things pretty simple. Um, my friends here are, that are on here, and when I say friends, they're my friends because I've met them through this creative business of mine. Um, DIY paint, it's a clay-based. Um, I can just go wash my hands. I don't have to worry about anything with any VOCs, or anything toxic. Um, and so I'm just out here, stealing my gym clothes from earlier, sporting my Made For More hat, which is by Rachel um, Hollis. Um, I'm feeling pretty pumped. I'm absolutely loving how this floral is turning out. Um, but I do the entire floral section and kind of like an impressionist all with my hands. Um, thank you guys. I've got three thumbs up and y'all are making my day. Again, I meant to come on here earlier, but my biggest thing is I don't make things so um, hard. I don't need any artistic rules. Um, so I thought coming on here live and just letting you guys see me finish up the petals, I'm gonna use my bright white, which is a beadboard. The other, um, the other colors that I have on here, this is an acrylic watercolor. I have some gold metallic on here. Um, oh, Jennifer, that's so wonderful. I'm so glad you're here. I'm finger painting flowers on a custom piece. Cindy, you got it, girl. That means you're not showing any um, any pups this weekend, maybe. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go with beadboard. I have also used colors such as Hey Sailor, Fancy Farm Girl, we've used crinoline, we've used um, Prom Queen, I've used Bohemian Blue, I use it on everything. Um, so the background is totally different. This is kind of a layer, layering process of um, mixed media that I do. Um, I'm driving to Delaware and I'm watching you. Girl, you on the road already? Girl, it's Thursday, isn't it? Honey, be safe. I'm so glad you're here joining. I'm learning. I need to take off my notifications. Um, so the phone just rang. All right, you guys, let's finish up this floral. Um, I'm always using my fingers and I actually prefer my flowers when I use my fingers as opposed to a brush. Is that so silly? Thank you guys for those thumbs up. It's kind of silly and I say that. Um, I, I, I paint furniture. If this is your first time seeing me, I paint furniture for a living. Um, I have a coaching group called My Creative Connection. I also do art, um, canvas art. I ship my furniture and my paintings all over the country and I'm super blessed to have a job um, where I get to work from home and I have a large community of 300 women that I coach. Um, and we, I coach, they coach me, we create, we make, um, we chat, we get to know each other and that's exactly what it is, is a creative connection. Um, but you can find me on Facebook. My, my website is theturquoiseiris.com. But like I said, I ship my furniture and my art all over the country. Um, I have a finger painting art series that I most recently did and um, thought that I would just kind of 
continue it. You know what I mean? Hi, Dorothy. Welcome. I'm so glad you guys are joining me. I'm glad you turned your notifications on. You must have got a little ding. Did you get a little ding, like a little bell or something? Like, how'd you know I was going to be here? And so yesterday, I've got to tell you guys this. Yesterday, Holden gets in the car, and Holden's my 13-year-old son, and he loves, loves, loves. Um, he loves YouTube, okay? And he says to me, Mom, I've been thinking. I know you have a YouTube channel. Like, I have like 7,000 people. Um, he's like, you need to do a vlog. And I'm like, son, I've been encouraging other friends of mine, like she paints. I've been encouraging my brother to do a vlog. Like, my brother's hysterical. Uh, yes, you got the notification. Kristen is not only talented and gifted, but she's funny, um, and I just enjoy her. And so some people, and so he's telling me, Mom, you need to do a vlog. You need to do a vlog. Um, but I'm like, babe, I think I'd rather do a podcast. Like, there's things, some things I'd rather do. Um, but right now, he wants to help me put together a vlog, and I think he wants to help me do videos um, and kind of create some content and maybe even film with the camera for me. So I should let him, right? Like, I don't want to say... Like, I mean, I want to let him. Like, it's such a good opportunity for him. And he has so much knowledge um, because he's 13 and that's what he does. So he gets in the car today and he's like, Mom, I've been thinking some more. Um, I've been thinking some more about how you could do this. And here, I want you to watch this guy. He's really good. You could really learn from him. Like, he was giving me all kinds of tips. Guys, I feel so special that my 13-year-old was thinking about my business. Seriously, I felt so special. So right now I'm adding some white petals on top of the crinoline. The crinoline is like a really yellowy, creamy white, um, but I'm adding some layers and depth. And frankly, I'm, I'm pretty pumped about it. Like I love the color. Several people got back with me and said that it felt like it had like almost an impressionist um, aspect to it. So I want it to look very organic. What I'll end up doing is I'll end up going back and adding some gold. Um, my Kind of my thing has always been like drips. Um, Oh, thank you, Michelle. I know. So I'm like, son, let's get together and like, I'll go in his room in a little bit and like, we'll spend some time. Like, I'll watch the videos that he wants me to watch. You know what I mean? So, um, anyway, this is going to be available soon. I will probably walk away from this today and let it dry. Um, but I'm going to bring it in closer after I wipe my fingers because the entire piece has been used by hand. I have not used one brush on this piece. Um, and it's the fourth painting in a row that I've done. And it's been all by hand, no brush needed, I say. Uh, so let me bring it in a little closer and I want your feedback. I'm okay with it, give me some honesty. If you see that it looks unbalanced, if you see that it could use something, I would seriously love to get your feedback. Now, again, this is live, so if you're watching this, um, recorded back. I won't be able to change it because I'll probably be done with it by then. But right now it has the red signal on there that says live for eight minutes. So I want y'all to see this up close and personal and I would love your feedback on my finger painted flowers. I know. Did you know this, Talisha? I meant to. I meant to. I got so distracted. But I'm thinking I love the way that the blue and the white and the navy are all layered together. All with my fingers, you guys. The stems, I didn't use one brush on this, the entire piece. Um, so what happens is I'll let it dry and I probably will sneak out here tonight and look at it. Because um, I do work from my home studio, which is the garage. My husband wants me to call it the studio, but it's my garage because he, he knows I have this dream of having like the studio in the backyard. But in my backyard, I have a batting cage, huge for the kids. Um, thank you, Talisha. So I think what I'll do right now, um, I've got to walk away, but I'll come out here tonight and I may add gold. Um, my favorite gold, in case you're not aware, is Golden Ticket by DIY. Um, I have this spray bottle that I use, uh, Master's Craft. It's from um, Hobby Lobby. On sale, half off right now. Thank you for the week of September. You guys, thank you for joining and giving me a thumbs up. If you are watching this on replay, I have some other videos on YouTube where you can watch me paint live there as well um, at theturquoiseiris.com. I'm always on there doing something, but I'm trying to do a few more videos here on YouTube because 
because this is where it's at, right? Like this is where the cool people are hanging out apparently, like the 13 year olds. My son's like, mom, this is, I'm like, yeah, no really. Um, but thanks for joining me live today and thanks for all of my friendly faces that popped on here and thank you for having your notifications on. So we gotta walk away. If you have any tips on what you think I should add to it, I would love that. Thank you so much. You guys have an awesome day and you be awesome.